first thing that I want to do here is to add my uh, floor plates. How I would be adding my floor plates? I'll be adding my floor plates by creating my floor plates starting from the bottom and then go up. How I would do that? So since I already extracted my information here, right, tag location, I can use this, copy this and paste it. And if I take this out, what I'll be seeing is my mid bottom surface here. And that surface would have an area. And that area is going to be having a full, uh, plane. And if I go to, okay, let's create a geometry component here. Right. So let's push all this right inside this in. And what I'll be doing here is basically putting these planes and put those planes on top of each other with the height of my floors. So I'll be creating a number that is fed by this guy so I can fire this play hidden. I can put it over here to use in my next steps. So what I'll be doing is I'll be moving this plane, right? I'll be moving this plane by using the height. So if I grab a series, and my ser in my series, my count is going to be what? I don't know yet, but my step is gonna be this, right? So if I grab this and put it over here, or you can do vice versa, you can put this point up first, moving up first by using a Z connection you'll see there are a bunch of points. Obviously, they are not increasing the height of the, like, 10. So maybe we can put 25 or maybe even, like, 50 for each one. You see, it's just a visualization, you know. We just want to make sure we have enough planes, but that's too much, obviously. Let's say 21 in this case. Okay. And if we go to intersection menu, in physical and B rep plane, sorry, in mathematical, if you grab a B rep plane, we have our B reps, our geometries here, right? Oops, our B reps. And we have our planes. So if I connect this B rep again to here, and preview them all off. Push one of these here. And I think I need to craft this because I will have 300, 433 B-reps. And you see, I have 300 and 433 branches. That's what I need. Okay. So I connect it over here. It doesn't have any planes, but it's giving this information. And if I connect this over here, it will probably turn into red. You know why? Because these points are not going to be creating any kind of intersections, right? Therefore, it's going to go in, turn into, uh, turn into red. But let's give it a second or two. So that we can see. You see, as I told you, it gives us the red because of these points. The, the logical way of doing this is divide the height of the building, right? Divide the height of the building. Like grab a division, divide the height of the building to this guy over here, connect this and let's say wire display hidden because wire display hidden. And if I use this as my count, we won't be seeing any problems because this will give me exactly the number of floors that I have. 
this is the height if I grab a scribble and put building height and building and floor height this will give me the number of floors again sorry not number of floors count floors number of i already find the number of floors didn't i i think i already found it now i don't need this probably yeah i think yeah i've already found this somewhere here right like the floor height and the number of floors are here so what I can do is basically grab a number and wire display, sorry for this, you can switch the previous parts and copy this and paste. This is floor height, this is number of floors. number of floors is the thing that we need right we can delete this or connect this and then delete this so that it doesn't uh, compute over and over yeah it's taking a bit of time to finish but yeah. And what I have here is almost done. So you see, there's no uh, like reddish colors over here. So if I preview this off, you see I'm seeing it. But the way that we want to have this is um, group this. Group this, group this as well, and copy this and paste. Not that guy, this one. That is, is this to group. And what I can type here is uh, floor or floor planes. Why oh, not? And And I can put scribble here, floor curves. Obviously the, like the floor curves can be represented by using like any other color like preview. And when we preview this in, they will go into pink. If I grab a swatch, and this guy in here as white, and this to group and one thing what we can do last maybe is go back to here and deconstruct this color if i go here split this guy and connect again gb red blue green i connect this okay what is happening argb we have am I missing something oh okay I think this one is the one that we need because we want to use the one which starts with or if I like integer channels would sort this out I think Yes, this one works with 0 to 1, this one works with integers. But what we can do for the alpha value is like 0, so I don't know, like 100 maybe tops. And you see we decrease the, uh, we decrease the opacity of this. So we have better view of seeing things. And last but not least, what we can do is we can add 
the building height info here information and we can add something here too uh, we can grab building like we have the number of floors we can grab another like a uh, text or we can say number oh, we can do this floor Or not number of floors let's type and put an enter here and what we can do is we can connect this by using another panel because we want to go to the next line and this here this here this here this one this one over here this one over here add this to group add this to group you see number of floors and if i grab another one here the number of floors can be i can grab another number here Wire display hidden. Put it over here. Add to this group. And I would say this. I would add this. Oh, yeah. Now I should have, obviously, I should have drafted that as well because now I am trying to plot all the buildings. Num floor numbers or number of floors on all the buildings so it will take again a couple of more minutes yeah towards the end of this playlist i think i get a bit tired so it happens it happens but i think it's we we, we covered quite a lot of ground here on tractor curves list managements data trees graphs flattens keeping our definition tight yeah so let's see hold on maybe i can pause this video so you see the all values are hitting on top of each other i'm trying to switch to the rhino and if i can craft Double click craft, connect this craft, and then I hope. Yeah, it's really slow now. I'm recording myself and also recording the screen. Yes, yes, hopefully, this would be the wrap for this tutorial or this playlist. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed it and uh make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't yet and i hope you enjoyed this playlist see you in the next one